everyone and welcome back to Tuscany. Um, you can see we've got some good growth on our big field now. Um, so I'm just going to hook up the fertilizer. Duke's still keeping a, a good watch on us, bless him. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to get cracking straight into it cuz uh, we've got quite a lot to do in this episode. Um, I want to try and show as much of it on screen as I possibly can. Oop. Including the um, me forgetting to unfold the thingy. Yeah, there we go. Unfold. Now let's get back in the driving seat, please. Let's put it, I think put it down. Yeah, that's, that's about right. No? Okay, um, let's try getting out of the, um, Tractor. It was moving just a minute ago, because I drove it here. Ah, there we go. So, let's go. Go down here. It looks like all the lines of fertilizer have disappeared. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to detect what goes on with this sprayer. So we should be about there. And... no, not that one. That one. Activate. And I think this does the same thing by... Um, I found out that on the... Um, on the manure spreader you could go at speed 3 quite happily. So I, I did at the end. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Ah, we're getting a good usage out of that by the looks of it. And yes, you, it looks like we can see where we've been, so that's even... we're doing it right. So hopefully it'll increase the profits on this field, because this field is going to be what's... it's going to pay for what I'm hoping to do for um, the grand finale. So, we'll take it from there. We'll see what we get. So, there we go. But yeah, so... Obviously you can see with the amount of growth we've got here, you should see quite a lot of growth over in our other fields. You haven't seen the harvesting implements yet, and I haven't actually moved them. They are exactly where they were delivered to. And we'll go and find them as soon as we've just done this field. So, like I say, I may not... I probably won't be able to show everything on screen, but um, I'll give you another couple of passes of this, and um, then pause the recording until we are ready to go and check out what's going on over our small fields. So there we go, so... We're getting a quite nice coverage here, I think. Um, obviously the graphics of the crops make it slightly difficult to see, but... I'm certainly not going to complain about that, because I think it looks really pretty good. So... So we get this lined up, we'll do this pass, I think doing it at speed 3 means that we've got, we've got plenty of, um, plenty of scope here, so we've, we're about halfway through, so I'm just going to, after this pass, I'm just going to pause the recording for a little while for you guys, um, well no time at all for you guys, a little while for me whilst I just, um, finish this off, and um, then I'm going to drop this um, sprayer off over there a little bit, and then we're going to go, you can see in the distance the gravity wagon, you probably can't make out the combine, um, but I will go and find those in just a moment, so uh, I will be right back with you. Okay, and we're back, so you can see, um, if I just go back just a slight smidge, well actually no, if I get out 
can see that we've only used kind of just not quite a um, hundred units of the insecticide, or no, sorry, insect pesticide. So we've got that. So we drop that off there, and um, we're now going to head on round and check out our new stuff. So here we have our gravity wagon, and here we have our combine. Now. I thought when I first saw it that that was a kind of combine that you drove yourself, but it's not an independent vehicle. It is one that you do have to hook up to the uh, tractor. As you can see, when you get that little bit closer to it, it's it's quite that much more obvious. Um, so let's hook that up. I think that's about right. So we've hooked it onto the, the main thingy doofer. And I'll just give you a quick look at the gravity wagon. So obviously you kind of got your little chute there and it fills up the bags nice and easily. So we'll come and get that in a minute, but we're gonna take this one down to the field. Um, let's, actually we haven't looked at the options there, have we? So what options do we have here? So we've got kind of activate lift header. So we probably want to lift that all the way up whilst we're transporting it. Um, yeah, so that should do it. That'll... So let's kind of head on out, narrowly avoiding the barrels. There you go. That was some expert driving there from Farmer Giles. So now, we put our fields out here, didn't we? So. Um, yeah, don't drive into the tree. It's not um, two rivers, Matt, with all the trees you can drive through. It's not even the right game for that. So, you can see the sunflowers are beginning to turn, so they're not quite there yet. Um, but they are starting to ripen and be ready to harvest. The, the wheat, which is the middle field, it's mostly there, that's probably another day, and then that will be fully ready. So we've probably got um, we've got the corn fully ready. So we've, we planted them a day apart, so I'm guessing the corn's ready now. If we skip forward a day, the wheat will be ready, and then if we skip forward another day, the sunflowers will be ready. Um, so what we'll need to do is also do that in combination with looking at our animals. But for now, let's get ready to harvest corn. So we, we're, we're doing it. I'm just wondering if that's... is that going to be right? Or do I need to... I'm not happy with that. So let's get out. Let's detach it. Let's do that. And let's have it on that, that there. Because I think that's better. I think that's Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So, can we do the... Yeah, we can put the header down. And we can get ready. So you can see it's got a capacity of 500. So... I think we should be... about ready to start our harvest peeps. So... Activate our our case combine. There we go. Started. So I'm going to stick with level one for the minute, just so I can try and line this up nice and nice and tidily. So I'm gonna increase to level two now. Um, I'm not going to try anything level three for combining because I think that's a little bit um, far-fetched, shall we say. I'm also not going to drive on the crop, so I'm going to lift the header. We'll keep it activated, but the 
we'll keep it. And we'll go round and we'll do another pass. So we'll, we'll go for three here, but you can see you've got the dead stalks now showing on the on the what's it? So let's uh, oh it didn't actually lift the header. Okay, never mind. So let's go and get this next pass. So you can see it's going up quite nicely in the screen here in terms of the crop yield. And as we all know, that means um, out of a full tank from the combine, we will get a... well, we'll get 10 bags of, of the of the crop. That's the word. So, what I could do, and what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do this slightly differently in this moment. Um, I'm going to do what I should have done to start with, which is to say, go up this side like this, Keeping an eye on our, our tank. And then simply turn around in a nice wide arc and go up this side. That's what I should be doing, I think. We left enough space in between the fields. So there we go. So this is harvesting. So obviously the next step is... We've just got to get this filled up and then we'll show you emptying out. So we should be able to finish this... Hopefully we'll be able to finish this field. So we might have made our fields just the right size for one one combine tank. I suppose it depends on the individual yields of the of each crop. Um, but no, I don't think we. I think we're going to get this pretty much full in a moment. So I think, yeah, pretty much there. So I think we'll just. What should we do? Should we just turn this around? Just take the very corner off of this, just to. Fill it. Another one. Another one. Okay, let's get another one. There we go, gotcha. So let's deactivate that now. park up over here. Well, we'll park this up over here. And we're going to go and get our gravity wagon. And there is a bug with the gravity wagon. Um, so we're going to... What you're going to watch is going to be a slightly roundabout way of doing it. But the reason for that is the bug. Um, I read up on the forums and information that I could find available I believe the bug only presents itself the first time you use the gravity wagon. I, I'm reliably informed that after that it works okay. Um, so we'll we'll test that out because we've got plenty of usage of the gravity wagon to come. Uh, so let's get that hooked up. fully fledged farm with all the equipment there in. We've sold equipment that doesn't doesn't work for us. Um, so yes, yeah, so this one's got a capacity of a thousand. So strictly speaking, we could set this up by the side of the field and fill it up to 
it's 1000 capacity. Um, I can't remember if you have to have the case connected to the tractor or this connected to the tractor for it to offload from the combine into the gravity wagon, so we're about to find out. So it should be kind of coming alongside here. Oh. Should do something, if I'm lucky. Yeah, there you go. So we've got it in the right spot there. So it's now offloading everything out of the combine into the gravity wagon. So, I mean, it's not doing it particularly quickly, but there we go. I'm not going to worry too much about that. We've got time. We've got all the time in the world. Um, so we can see, yeah, see what's going on here. Our combine's already pretty dirty, but that's kind of what you expect. We're on a farm. So we've, we've succeeded in fertilizing and um, insecticide spraying, and we're now, we're now approaching that final goal of reaping the harvest, getting some money in. So we've now got that 500 in the gravity wagon. So what I'm going to now do is drive on over here. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm now going to get out of the tractor and activate the gravity wagon. And we're going to expect 10 bags to come out. But what's going to happen is they are going to go like a half a mile in that direction or a half a mile in that direction. I forget which it is. And that's the bug. The first time you use it... Oh! Interesting. Interesting. It was. Maybe the bug's been fixed. Um, it did happen the first time I did this that um, literally the first bunch of bags were kind of like half a mile in that direction or in the opposite direction. So we're expecting 10 bags out of this. How are we doing? We're doing pretty well actually. So this is what you'll then get out of the gravity wagon and we can then, I suppose theoretically if it's going to work, we can take these, um, take the gravity wagon directly into town with the next load and um, effectively um, I'm guessing it's getting a bit uptight because it's stacking them too high. So that's just us moving them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's now empty. So where's nine, eight, nine, ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I threw those, didn't I? That wasn't the gravity wagon, that was me. Because it does, for some reason, it does seem to give you quite a strong arm when you are and then the other one's been thrown out the front. So that is all of the crop that we've collected thus far. Right there. All three stars, all worth five coins each. So that's pretty good. It's not going to buy us our new tractor, but it's pretty good. So let's kind of get this set up over here. I think what we'll do is we'll leave it somewhere so that we can attach the combine and just come and empty to it. I think that makes the most sense at the moment. So there we go. So this is all nice new stuff. So we'll I don't think the drawbar needs to be quite that long, do you? There you go, that'll do.
So let's get back in and let's uh, finish up our corn. So what I'm probably going to do is I'll finish up the corn off screen. I'm not going to sell anything just yet. Um, we'll get the uh, animal trailer out. And um, actually, there's a few other things I'm going to show you before we finish out the ep finish out. Um, ah, no, I'm going to show you before I finish out the episode, but I'm only going to pause recording. I'm not going to actually end the episode whilst I'm still harvesting, so this might be a little bit of a longer episode. But it's the penultimate, so the show is almost over. So we want there. So like I say, I'm going to use the combine, finish up the corn, um, and then I will be back. So uh, stand by. Okay everyone, so welcome back. We've um, lined ourselves up ready for the wheat field, the small wheat field, finished the corn, and um, there's 199 in the gravity wagon ready to go. We've still got our bags, our 10 bags across the way to go. Um, but we have something else that we need to do as well. I mean, we'll need to shift forward a day before we harvest the wheat, um, which we already knew. Um, but there's uh, some exciting news coming in from the pig shed. Um, so we'll just head on over there. And uh, yeah, so there's Duke. He's been keeping an eye, like I say, keeping an eye on things. Bless him. So let's uh, get out and let's go and see what's happening in the pig shed. If I can press the right button to open the door. So, we have got two pigs. We had two pigs, if you all remember. Uh, we have four pigs. So the pigs, have, they've, done, they've done their thing. So we have our first um, animal breeding success. Um, I don't think we've got that yet with the cows. No. Daisy and uh, Butch here are still kind of... They're still working on things, but I think they were i think they were the day after the pigs, possibly. Um, or it might take a little bit longer, but you can see we've got plenty of milk here. Um, and we've got two full stacks of eggs, so I think we've got a few trips to make. But I think the first trip we're going to make, and we'll make the trip on screen, is going to be with the pigs. So we're going to take them to market, and we're going to sell them. Uh, not all of them. We'll leave. Um, we'll leave a breeding pair, I think, just in case we need to kind of. Well, in case we need to breed some more to kind of make some more money. So, why else would you not kind of leave a breeding pair? Um, okay, there you are. Don't want to run you over, Duke. Um, So yeah, so let's get this lined up ready, and then we'll be loading our pigs. Yes, I did just jump out the tractor while it was still moving. No, I didn't want hydraulics down. I wanted the back door, thank you very much. So I was quite surprised at how well it worked when we took the other animals in. So I'm thinking we're going to take the two from here because they're both three stars. Come here, piggy piggy! So, I can then get, get up in here. Okay, so you should just... Well done. That's good. So that's one pig. No, you're... You're going to stay there then. Are we going to take the other three-star pig? Because I don't... Need, I'm going to sell three-star pigs because I should get more money for three-star pigs. So you can see it's... Like, sat there nicely in, in the trailer. Which is just what we want. So, bring him to the door and... 
Then, come on. Yoikies! In you go. That's it. Good pig. So, we'll take them to market. Hold tight. Farmer Giles is enough to when he drives. So, there we go. So we can see we've got another another good lot of growth here. So this is some of the stuff that you didn't necessarily see in terms of the growth stages on the other field. It's, um, it stays at this kind of growth stage for quite some time. Um, and you can see with the wheat, you can see the see the ears um, and then it starts to kind of turn as it does and go to the, the dried out colour and then when it's all dried out you're ready to harvest um, it's the same with the corn and then obviously with the sunflower seeds uh, you're looking for the, the heads to kind of go black and the, the yellow flower bits to drop off the yellow petals so you can see we've got some logs over here as well, so we'll be off-screen coming and selling those. Because we don't want to sell them. There's no point in doing that on-screen really. You guys have seen it enough times, I'm sure. You're bored with it. So... Yeah, so that'll be even more money for us. Farmer Giles' is fishing hole there. So we'll get... Sure. I'm sure I'm going the right way. I try to take the shortcut, don't I, so... Yeah, I am going the right way. I'm just lost. Partly. So, never mind. But yes, yeah, so, plenty to do. As I said, it would be somewhat of a busy episode, so I think um, what we're likely to do is... Um, yeah, ooh, what's going on? Oh, ah, there, I, was, I was inside of a wall. How, how fun is that? So... Open those gates. Pull out. Before we pull out pig number one, let's just check them on. So we've got ten coins. So let's pull you in here and see what we get for you, because your market value is 45. Come on. Forty-five for you. I'd be surprised because it normally. No, we got thir thirty-seven, so we don't get the full market value, which I think is a bit. It's a bit cheeky, really, because you don't advertise the the price that they're actually going to be bought at. But there you go. At, at this particular stage, I guess it doesn't really matter what I think because it's done and. Yeah. There we go, so that should give us another bunch of money. Yeah, so let's close the gate behind them. Uh, not in on me though, please. Excellent. So, what we've got now is we're going to kind of harvest the other small fields. Um, you've seen the harvesting, so I am going to do that off screen. And, um,. Not going to sell any of the crop yet, though. I am going to start loading it onto the trailer here. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Is uh, going to go and load those bags of corn grain, um, and so we'll be able to then look at those and and figure out what we're going to do. Well, we're, we're going to sell them basically. That's n nothing to figure out there really. Um, but yeah. So next time we will be back for our grand finale and um, we will have hopefully had the cows breed I will probably sell those off screen because we're going to need the money and um, 
actually we are going to sell pretty much all of this crop off screen as well. So actually no, we're not going to sell it off screen. We're going to go and take the corn. We're going to sell that now. So we're going to stop talking silly fat man. We're going to go and sell the grain now so you can see what goes on there. Um, the corn, that is. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I did say it was going to be a slightly longer episode. I thought I was going to manage to keep myself to the normal half an hour length, but there's too much that I need to do off screen to accomplish what I want to accomplish for the finale. So we are going to, yeah, going to extend slightly. Hopefully you guys don't mind sticking with me. Um, whilst I flail around and throw bags of corn around. Um, now because we only got 199 from the remainder of the field, there will be a bag that's not fully um, 50 in total, so if it's not going to give me... if the price is significantly less, which it probably will be, I won't sell that one. I'll stick that one in the storage as kind of seed for next time, or I'll stick it in for the chickens or one of the animals so we'll use it as use it on the farm rather than try to sell it because it's not full as it were so let's go over here and we should get another four bags so let's open the wheel That one. I'm gonna start loading them up in the trailer. Dum 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 dum. You see, you can't run very fast when you're carrying a sack of corn. I think there's also an exclusion zone somewhere there. So, and you can see also where we've stopped the combine a few times. It's actually put a bunch of straw down. Now. I didn't think corn produced straw, but there you go. And you can also see the grass is starting to grow back on the field, so we could theoretically cut that. And um, so there's the one for 49, so that would only give us four. And it's only kind of one unit away from being worth five, so I'm not inclined to to give that away, you know? I think that's a bit, uh, bit rich. So... Corn's kind of bumbling around in the back there, which is fine. So we've got one more bag that we're going to take with us, which is you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Gravity Wagon. So we, we sell this at the market stall as well. Um, and, uh, into town. And we'll make some more money. So how much more money do we need? We need thousands because I think I think the cheapest tractor was um, a good three or four thousand. So um, yeah we're there's going to be a lot of, of stuff if we're going to buy a new a new tractor for our our farm. So, and I would like you to see one of the new tractors. So, um, there we go. So, like I say, plans for the finale are kind of are there, um, and that's why I'm showing you this now. I'm not really into selling bales. You can sell bales, and um, the place to sell bales is coming up just here. So literally just as we enter, if you want to sell bales, you kind of pile them up next to that bale stack there, and they get sold. Um, but you, you don't get a great return from them, to be honest. Um, so only if you're really 
spending a lot of time bailing, and I'm, I may do that as another revenue source whilst waiting on other things, but I think the time put into it when you could be fairly easily um, just zinging through the days and harvesting crops and stuff, I think that probably is going to give us a far better return. So, uh, there we go. So we'll uh, give all our bags of corn over here to Sally. Happy as ever. Sunny Sally, or did I call her something else? I can't remember. We'll call her Sally for today. Maybe it's a different lady. You never know. So. There are, on certainly on bales, there are limits on how much you can sell per day. Um, the same way that there is with logs. Um, you can only sell, I think it's two or three logs a day. Um, and I think it's about the same with bales, it's two or three. Um, I don't think we get the same limitations with what we put on the market stall. Uh, I think it just, all it does is it sells it at a time time-lapse kind of thing, so it, you don't get your money for it all straight away, it all gradually disappears, kind of as though people are coming and buying it, um, which is pretty good, um, and fairly realistic, even if the way it's stacking them isn't, kind of going up one side and down the other, but I was going to let that one slip, but it was a little bit too obvious. So. Okay, so it looks like we're now... Ah, we're at capacity, so it's um, obviously those ten. And then when it sells one, we can put another one in its place. Um, I'm tempted just to leave them close by and come back. So I'll... But again, I can do that in between now and the finale, because, uh, like I said, we've got 149 coins, pounds, dollars, whatever you want to call it, um, and we need a lot more, because if we're going to buy even the cheapest of tractors, yeah, we need at least three grand. So, so plenty of work to do, so um, I'm going to go and do that. And uh, like I say, until next time, I'm going to bid you all uh, farewell, folks. Take care.